Hello everyone. Now, unlike most footage which I show on the channel, I believe this clip here is copyrighted by the Kiev Post. So I'm only going to be able to use screenshots, unfortunately. But it is very interesting, and I hope you stick around to see the end of the video, as I think you'll enjoy it. It's about Ukraine attacking Russian targets in Syria, including the Kuwerez Air Base near Aleppo. Post a link in the description to the Kiev Post article on it, which includes the video, so it's definitely worth a watch. So first of the footage shows a mobile electronic warfare vehicle being destroyed. You can see that the operator filming is very close to the electronic warfare vehicle when it's hit. I expect the jammer was deliberately taken out first to allow the next part of the video to happen. There's a cut and then we see a drone flying over the airbase itself. Now, it isn't known what type of drone was used here, but in this screenshot here, you can see it is a type of bomber drone, not an FPV or kamikaze one. It's seen dropping two bombs onto the airbase. Now, the footage is very choppy, and the screen of the drone operator has a lot of reflection and light shining on it, which does make it difficult to see the impact of the two bombs and what they hit. The airbase does look pretty barren. I can only spot one possible aircraft. More on that in just a moment. This base was used by Russia, the Kiev Post saying it was used for training and transporting foreign mercenaries to Ukraine. This isn't the first operation by Ukraine targeting Russia and Wagner overseas. In January, Ukrainian drones hit Russian mercenaries operating in Sudan. In February, Ukraine shared videos of Ukrainian special forces interrogating captured Wagner members in Sudan. And of course, the recent ambush in Mali has also been speculated to have had Ukrainian involvement. So, let's dig a little deeper and piece all of these events together in Syria. Starting with the electronic warfare vehicle. So, we can see that this happened on July the 11th. The report saying a jamming system was struck as part of a joint Syrian and Russian patrol near the airbase. This was the second one in a month. The first one was an ambush on two Syrian officers, a lieutenant colonel and a major, on the road between Aleppo and the airbase. The same source shared this photo of a vehicle that was hit, showing it to be a Tiger M with jamming equipment on top. Which ties in with the video what we saw. The vehicle which we saw with the jammer being hit did look like a Tiger M. So this is the same incident. So, the jammer was taken out first, and then we had the airfield attack using the drone. Now, we don't know what was targeted in the drone attack, but two Syrian pilots were reported to have been hit in the strike. They were a colonel and a lieutenant colonel. So, now we know the time frame. An ambush on two officers in June, the jammer vehicle targeted in mid-July, and then the drone targeting the airbase itself on the 25th of July. Now, let's get back to the base itself, the geolocation, and the possible target. This is a screenshot of the footage a couple of seconds before the drone releases its bombs. Now, that looks to be a hardened structure. You can see it's raised slightly with a hole in the back, likely to keep aircraft inside and protect them. And just outside of it, that looks like a jet of some sort to me. I can't tell which sort because of the quality of the footage. It's over this general area where the drone dropped its bombs. It looks like the possible jet was the target here. No idea if it was hit or not, or actually, even if it is a jet for certain. But it definitely looks like a jet to me, and it's near the hardened structure, which is where the drone dropped its payload, so I think these were being targeted. This is the area on the base where the possible jet and the hardened structure were. You can see the structure is visible on Google Maps imagery. On the map image, you can see a few light aircraft scattered around. These look to be trainers of some sort maybe, and they look to be inactive to me. So maybe the aircraft we saw on the drone footage could actually be one of these, a disused trainer aircraft by the side of the structure, but we can't tell for certain. Could have been an active jet, could have been a disused one as we see here. Here is the base itself. Ukraine must have had intelligence that this hardened structure was the key target here. Either a jet inside, or tracking officers and important figures entering it. As, check the base zoomed out. The key target for me and the key part of the base to hit looks like it would be the two big buildings at the bottom, and also the flight line. This base operates helicopters and L-39 Albatross trainers. Interestingly, there's also a book SAM system deployed here as well. This book 
is operated by a joint Russian and joint Syrian crew. So, Russian air defence failed at its job here as well. Surprise, surprise. Here's its location in Syria, zoomed out. So it's in the north of the country, not far from Aleppo. Now it is unknown how Ukraine pulled this off. It's reported as being a GUR operation, but I don't know if that means it's Ukrainian operatives in Syria operating the drones and ambushing the jammer, or if it means Ukrainian intelligence is just helping out rebel groups within Syria itself by providing them with drones, intelligence and potential targets. Could even be a combo of the two. A handful of Ukrainian operators working with Syrian rebel groups. But certainly, given we've seen Ukrainian intelligence operations in Sudan and Syria now, hitting Russian targets, as well as very possibly the ambush in Mali, Ukrainian's intelligence hand stretches pretty far. Despite this being far from Ukraine, it is still a very important target. For starters, it's embarrassing for Russia having its bases hit by drones in Syria and being unable to defend them. Secondly, it may possibly force Russia to deploy more assets to this area to defend it. There's already one book deployed here. That's one book which won't be in Ukraine. So if Russia decides to send more to defend its forces and operations here, then that is further stretching the already stretched air defence network. I'm sure this won't be the last strike we see against Russian assets abroad. I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't more plans in the pipeline. Maybe even to hit the Russian Navy at sea somewhere. Ukraine has already driven them out of the Black Sea after all, and set fire to a corvette in Kaliningrad in the GUR intelligence operation. So something being planned to hit the Mediterranean fleet or something like that would be very interesting. And it's not out of a question. At the start of a war, who would have thought we would see Ukrainian drones attacking a Russian base in Syria? So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. And apologies for not being able to show the actual footage, but I believe it is copyrighted and I don't want a copyright ban. Before we finish, I'm going to play a video from Cars for Ukraine about the ongoing fundraiser. The donation link is in the description. Big thanks to everybody else who has helped out so far. Thanks so much and take care everybody. Hello guys, we are medics of 3rd Separate Brigade operating in a very hot spot in Kharkiv region where Russians form a new front. We have the right skills, equipment and even a dot to cheer everyone up. But what we lack is wills to operate fully effectively. We've joined efforts with Scar for Ukraine to raise money for five pickup trucks that will be purchased and delivered to us for further medical setup. Scar for Ukraine has been actively helping wearers all over the front line delivering the total of 430 vehicles. Help us keep our Ukrainians alive. Donate at Scar for Ukraine come together to our shared victory.